So Cami is designed as a classroom tool. So that was that was its primary invention. Its focus is taking PDF documents and making them to where teachers can use them in the classroom. And from there, it has just grown exponentially. And now um, districts are using it because it's a great way to edit, create, um, add feedback, comments um, to PDF documents really easily that you might not be able to do with other tools. And it's all in one. So teachers, uh, teachers all the way across the district can use Cami. It's integrated into your Google Workspace. Um, so really, it goes beyond the classroom hero. It's the hero to anytime you have to work for a P work with a PDF, in my opinion, because you you can interact with documents. Seamless workflow, depending on your learning management system. I don't know how much you guys interact with a learning management system in um, your uh, job, but Google Classroom, Schoology, Canvas, it plays really well with those. You can uh, use it in line or online, offline, remote access, and it is centric to collaborative learning. So you can collaborate on it just like you can a Google Doc, which is really neat. I've already talked about it, seamless interactions. Um, one of the neat things that's been added with the with the full version, and I understand that your district pays for the full version of Cami, so you have the ability to add video comments, voice comments, you can screen capture if you need to share with somebody, um, and you can do the text-to-speech feature as well. So really, that's got a lot of amazing tools that you can use, and you may not use all of them, um, but they are there for you to use. So if it's easier, like for me, I like to explain things in video. And so I can do a video and tell people what to do and where to go. You can add audio comments. If you're having to do a screen capture of some kind, it plays really, really well with a lot of those things. All right. So we're going to talk about signing into Cami. And so we'll kind of I'll show you how to sign in, and I'm going to encourage you to sign in and play as well. So that way we kind of get a, a feel for how to do that with each step. A couple of ways that you can sign in. So you sign in, um, you can sign in through Google. It syncs to your Google Drive, and you can also go through their website, which is camiapp.com. Um, and then from there, you're signing in with your Google credentials. You allow access to everything it needs to allow access. And then you're in. Now, the difference is, so people ask, well, what's, what's the difference? Well, it depends on what you're wanting to do. So, for example, if I know I have a PDF in my Google Drive um, that I need to, to get to, I can just go straight to my Google Drive and open it in Cami. Um, however, if I'm wanting to create something new, if I am wanting to like scan a PDF, maybe I need to split a PDF, merge it with another PDF. If I have that kind of stuff in mind, going through camiapp.com might be your best option there. So it just kind of depends on, on what you're doing. And I'll just show you, for example, in Google Drive, you can see here, I have a lot of different um, PDFs here. And so what you would do, so in Lexington, or not Lexington, that's my school district, but for a PDF, for example, if I wanted to open a PDF, I can find my PDF and I can double click it and it'll open in Cami because my, my Google Drive and my Cami logged in are synced. So when everything is synced together, when you double click a PDF, it will automatically open in Cami. You also have the ability to do a uh, two finger or a right click on the document and you can say open with and then you can choose uh, annotate with Cami and that will also open it up in Cami. Now, the neat thing with Cami as well is it plays well with all documents. So I can open up a Google slide doc, a Google doc. Um, a Google Sheet, Microsoft Office documents. I can open any of those in Cami. And I really, really like that, that feature. So it's not just PDFs. PDFs is primarily what you know I use it for, what my teachers use it for. But if, if you're not sure who you are sending a document to, if they don't have Google, if they don't have Microsoft, Cami is a great way to edit, annotate, and send them um, a document that 
automatically becomes a PDF when you go to send it. So up to you on, on that, on which document you're going to open. But this just kind of opens up. You can see here, it opens Cami right directly up. I have my toolbars. You can see I'm already trying to color a school bus here. I'm opened up. I'm logged in. So my initials are up here in the in the right-hand corner. And you can see that I have the full, full features. Um, on the other side... Like I said, you can go to camiapp.com, sign in with Google, and it takes you to this screen. And then from this screen, I can open any document from Google Drive. I can open anything up from my computer. So if it's saved locally uh, to my hard drive, you can do that from here without having to move it to Google Drive first and then open it in Cami. You can do it directly from this screen. Um, OneDrive, if you have OneDrive, you can open it up from there. You can also create a new page. <laughs> All right. So the basic tools when you are in Cami. So especially if you are in Cami um, on the on the home screen here, which looks like this. You have the you have the basic tools. So the folder, it means open and save file. So you'll use you uh, use the folder to open documents that you are looking for. Same, same thing that you see there on the screen. You just have bigger buttons, but you can use the folder. The help um, button is very helpful if you get stuck or need help on doing things. That is a great feature there. Of course, you have your menu options, all those neat things right there for you. Now, the text recognition and the split and merge. We're going to play with those in a little bit. But the text recognition, so what does that mean? Well, PDFs are, when you when you have a PDF, a PDF is a frozen document. It's basically an image of a document that either somebody has scanned on a scanner um, or turned it into, you know, from a Word document or a Google document or even like an Apple iWork document where they've taken it and they have frozen it. So a PDF is a frozen image of a document and you really can't do much with it. You just look at it. It might be something that you print out and write on. Um, but what Cami can do is it can turn PDFs into an interactive document. What this does is it recognizes the text that is on the screen. It recognizes the text. It recognizes the images that are in the document. And what it does is it turns it interactive by allowing Cami to do the text to speech so it can read the text that is on there um it allows you to highlight because sometimes on frozen pdf documents depending on how you're opening it you can't highlight anything you can't click on any words you might be able to click links if the links are active um but what this does is it, just, it makes it interactive so you it'll read it for you you can highlight you can underline it will define words. You can add comments to specific words, sentences, or objects on the screen. So you'll probably end up using this if it is a, um, a document that maybe you're pulling off your hard drive, um, a PDF that you've scanned if it's on a scanner, especially like health room. Um, office employees might have documents where they have to scan it and then send it out. Um, so using Cami. You can scan those documents. You can use those those PDFs and turn them in to that. So if you had a document in in Cami, you would just click that button. Let me go back to my Cami screen. So what you do is you would click that, and then you can see here where you can drag a file from Google Drive or drag a file from your desktop, drag a file from Google Drive or OneDrive, and it will allow you to turn those into editable documents and let's see like this one right here so discovery add on i know this one's a, a frozen document so what it does is it it loads it for you and it does take it a minute it's not super fast but um depending on how large the file is this one i think is one or two pages There you go. And then when it's all done, you can save it back to Google Drive. 
or OneDrive if you have that, or you can export it to Cami. I'm going to export it to Cami, or you can download it too. Download it means you can share it, email it with somebody else. So I'm going to open it in Cami. And so now I can use my tools here on the side with the text. So I can highlight my text. Oops. There we go. I can use the text to speech feature. A series of professional learning experiences designed to support educators as they integrate digital media and technology into their teaching practice. This program fosters teacher leadership. So you can see that you know it turns the document so you can read it i can now mark it up Oop. try this again there we go so i can highlight words i can then go in and i can add a comment i can add voice if i want to so again, so it, it takes that stagnant document, that, that frozen image, and allows you to um, mark it up, comment, highlight, have it read, all the, all the neat things that you can do with it. This is very, this is a big deal too, especially if you have documents that are, um, that have like lines on them for people to fill out, but you want them to fill it out digitally. You can actually add text boxes to it and then be able to send it to somebody for them to fill out digitally through a text box. Um, and we'll be playing with text boxes here in a minute, but those are kind of a neat way to take a document and then add text boxes, send it digitally so they can fill it out and then send it back to you. Um, split and merge, we'll get into split and merge in a minute. I'm, I'm jumping ahead. But split and merge, that allows you to split large PDF files, um, take out the pages that you want and only keep those. Or if you have multiple PDFs and you want to build it into one document, it allows you to create those documents as well. 